a state level sanitization program for hotel owners on HIV, AIDS, and other related issues were held at Silong Sadar Police Station on Saturday. Rebina Suba of Sama Kami, while making a representation, said it is important for hotel owners to educate their employees about HIV, AIDS, and suggested that hotel owners should keep pamphlets with information about the disease at their hotels for the employees as well as guests. During the meet, it was informed by the Meghalaya AIDS Control Society that as per reports between 1999 and December 31, 2016, as many as 2,388 people have been registered with antiretroviral therapy art and 1,568 are still under treatment. The number of people alive on art is 1,146 uh, 1, and 324 did not continue their treatment after registering at the art. Subha said, NPP State President W. Karluki, who was the chief guest at the program, said the political class, including legislators, should be enlightened on HIV AIDS. He also congratulated the organizers for holding the sanitization program. D.K. Prasad, officer in charge of Sadar Police Station, also sought the cooperation of all stakeholders, including hotelers, to overcome the challenges in fighting the deadly virus. The program was attended by hotelers from across the city. So I'm Rubina Subha, a lawyer by profession and founder of Shamakami Organization. This is an organization which is basically working for the marginalized people. And our organization is running the first target, core composite target intervention program for HIV AIDS, which is sponsored by National AIDS Control Organization and supported by the Ghana State AIDS Control Society. So this target intervention program is working for female sex workers and men having sex with men population and transgenders. So this program today we are having is a sensitization program on HIV AIDS for hotel owners. Because we feel that hotel owners are also one of the most important stakeholders who garner to a very large variety of audience who come from borders and you know, interstates and maybe some other uh, different sectors. And we would like to sensitize hotel owners about HIV, basically on how they can curb this uh, menace of HIV and how we can all come together and prevent HIV in our state. Uh, so we are requesting the hotel owners uh, to give messages on HIV prevention, maybe by um, supplying them with small uh, pamphlets on HIV drugs, maybe keeping the pamphlets in the room where they are easily accessible to any of the guests who come and stays in their guest houses or hotel rooms, and maybe even uh, promoting condoms. So we are requesting if the hotel owners can keep a safe corner where free condoms can be you know, kept and where the guests who require them can pick it up, which should be far away from the reach of children, that is what we requested them, um, whether uh, these guests they can use, use it for their own. So this is one of the most important things and maybe with police being together, you know, uh, collaborating with them has also been a very fruitful journey for us. Uh, they will be speaking more about raids and arrests which is happening now every time in most of these hotels here. Uh, recently, I think Shalom has had a very big sex racket which was opened up recently in one of the guest houses. Uh, uh, we know that trafficking is also one of the issues which is related, but when we speak about a health issue called HIV, everything comes in the picture, be it trafficking, be it drugs, be it sex tourism, everything comes together. So we want to...